Welcome to our new website, MediaHQ.com. As an existing subscriber, you can log in from anywhere in the world, write your story, and send it to any journalist from your own email address. Up to now, MediaHQ has just connected you with the traditional media. From now on, you can publish your stories, connect them with your friends and followers through social media networks. When you log into your MediaHQ account, go to the dashboard. You will notice a few changes to the layout of the page. To be able to send social media releases, we need you to add some more information to your profile. Go to the Settings tab and select Social Media Settings. Add the name of your page. This should be the name of your organisation. Now you need to add the names of the people working in your communications team. Add a picture of the first person on your team. A small size JPEG is best here. Now enter their contact details. Make sure to fill in as much information as possible here. See here how it will look in your public page. Now it's time to enter the details of your personal social media accounts. These details will appear under your contact details on your organization's story page. In each of these social media links, you copy the public link of your profile and paste it in here. In Facebook, it is the address of your wall. In Twitter, it's the address of the Your Tweets button. And in LinkedIn, click Profile and View Profile to get the required link. Now let's look at how my completed profile looks on the system. Now it's time to fill in your organization details for your story page. Please put as much information as possible here. Under the company description, tell us what you do. Keep it to a maximum of 40 words. You can choose to enable comments on your stories. If you would like comments to go up automatically, just enable comments. If you would like comment moderation, enable both comments and comment moderation. Save your profile now. On your story page, you can add feeds from any of the social media accounts that your organization operates. You can add Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Flickr, or a WordPress blog. See here how people will see them in the front end of the site. Now it's time to connect your MediaHQ login to your organization's Twitter and Facebook accounts. This will allow you the option to push your stories to these accounts. You can add the individual details of the people working in your communications team. You have successfully updated your account and are ready to start sending social media releases. Go to the dashboard, choose releases and create a media release. You now have three options, write a press release, write a social media release or write both a press and social media release at the same time. For this example we will choose press and social media release. Enter the title for the story and write the story. You can enable or disable comments for your story. The first part is sending your story by email to journalists. Choose what media list you would like your story to be emailed to. Now pick a pre-saved image to attach to your story or attach it in the normal way you would to an email. You can also attach any additional files to your release like PDFs or Excel files. Now it's time to select the pictures for your social media release. The main image is the one that will be with your story when it's published on MediaHQ.com. You can also choose a couple of extra images. These should be JPEG format and not too large. Less than one megabyte each is best. You can also add additional files to be published with your social media release, like tables, Excel sheets and PDFs. You can embed a relevant YouTube movie with your story. Go to YouTube, click the share key below the movie and click embed. That will give you the link you need to copy here. Now it's time to categorize your story. This is very important so that people can find it quickly online. You can automatically generate tags of the most popular words in your story. Now choose your social media channels. The story will be published on MediaHQ.com and pushed to MediaHQ's Twitter and Facebook accounts along with your Twitter and Facebook accounts. Choose the contacts in your press office who will be dealing with the story. Their contact details will appear alongside the published story. You can preview the story and test send the email that the journalist will receive. You can choose to publish now, at a scheduled time, or save a draft of your work. Now let's publish and see how our story looks on MediaHQ.com. You can clearly see the headlines, the tags, the story, your chosen picture, and the follow-up contacts from the communications team, along with information from your social media feeds.